Welcome to Bowdown Woods Nature Reserve. I'm a warden working for the Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust. The Trust looks after nearly 90 reserves across the three counties, with Bowdown Woods being the largest woodland reserve in Berkshire at around 55 hectares. Join me on a tour to find out a little bit more about what you come across as we travel around. Everywhere you see a way marker with a QR code, you can scan the code and listen to me for a couple of minutes to give you a little insight about what can be discovered within this woodland reserve. Bowdown Woods is a site of special scientific interest, designated in 1983 for the woodland, so it's protected to maintain the ancient woodland habitat. It also includes a small amount of heathland. There are three distinct sections that you can see if you look at the map. There's Bowdown Woods to the west, the bomb site in the middle, and to the southeast, there's Baines Woods. Bowdown and Baines Woods are ancient woodland. That means that the trees are not necessarily old in themselves, but that the area has been woodland for hundreds of years. Woodland that has been around since the year 1600 is considered ancient. Prior to that date, people were not really planting woodlands, so if you can say that it was woodland in the year 1600, it has probably been so for a lot longer. That's also around the time that mapping of estates started to become much more accurate as well. The bomb site in the middle got its name not because a bomb went off there, but because it was built to store bombs and ammunition during the Second World War, although it never ended up actually being used. If you get the chance to visit, you'll see there are lots of brick and concrete structures that were built to contain the ammunition. There's lots of military history in this area. Greenham Common, which is located nearby, was once an airbase, but is now another of the nature reserves that we look after. Enough from me, let's make a start to see a fantastic example of ancient woodland, with a huge diversity of wild flowers, particularly if you visit in the springtime when there are swathes of bluebells to be seen. <laughs> 